Hello, hello, one and all. Back to another vlog. Ooh, my bed head is on fleek today. Um, I don't have a hand free, so I'm not gonna fix it. But yeah, welcome back everyone if you're new. Hello, welcome to my channel. I feel like I haven't done that in a while. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have vloggy vibes again this week, of course, like every week, but I'm gonna switch it up and show you a couple of days this week. Just a mix of everything, show you what I'm up to, what I'm wearing, what I'm doing here in the loft, which for the most part is looking quite clean and tidy. Hey, there's me. Little preview of what I'm wearing today. Mm finishing up the end of uh, another iced coffee today. I've actually already been running around. You know what, I wasn't really feeling this Monday this morning, but I put on some caribou in the background. Woke myself up, put on a cute outfit and just went and did my bits and I'm feeling a lot better. So before I get into anything else, I'll just show you what I'm wearing. Trying to look cute for Brooklyn, you know. Um, yeah, kind of a mix of items, a uh, tank top, rib tank top from Weekday, uh, vintage Levi's from Etsy, vintage belt from Poshmark, um, the Levi's, I think I talked you through that in the last vlog, so you can go check it out there, but yeah, this is kind of the look, I'm just rocking my naturally air dried hair i'm so excited i'm actually getting a haircut at the end of the week so um i'll be heading out to manhattan you should see that exciting day at some point during the vlog it's going to be my first time out in manhattan in like three three and a half three and a half months i think at least let me show you the full look um yeah this is what's making all of the noise the flippy floppies they're my leather look and other stories ones which i showed you in the last vlog so yeah i'm also wearing my paloma wool yin yang bag which i've been really enjoying there's nothing in it right now other than the tote bag that i used to carry my packages home uh, but i've been loving this bag it's like i took it out the other night it's just easy i personally just like handbags that i can rough around a bit and i don't need to be delicate or too careful with them and yeah for a good old plain outfit like this um it's still minimal but it kind of gives it a bit more pizzazz and personality as one would say it's starting to get a bit lank now so i'm looking forward to that haircut at the end of the week also all of you guys bring up connell from normal people to me i was wearing these chains before connell came on the scene i'll have you know but i do love i do love a bit of paul mezcal in my life uh, i do have a new piece though and it's this little libra balance scales necklace it's a vintage piece it's on a daisy jewelry chain i don't really think there's a point linking the seller because it was like a one-off piece it's not like they specialize in collecting um this kind of stuff i've been doing this thing where i've been trying to collect almost like jewelry heirlooms and kind of like start that tradition with myself pretty much since the first year i've moved to new york every time i feel like i've been through something like really big um or like overcome something i've kind of wanted to get a piece of jewelry that just reminded me of that time so yes that's the lowdown on that uh, i was out actually picking up a bunch of packages also picked up a package from today's sponsor vitruvi oh hold on we need a scissors but um you guys are probably all familiar with my vitruvi diffuser by now i use it every single day you've seen it so much in like the b-roll shots in past vlogs um it's just something i use like literally every single day uh it keeps the loft smelling good um for anyone that's kind of i don't know struggles to keep their space like smelling just nice and fresh and you know the mood strong the vibe strong as you guys know i'm all about the zen chill nice vibes in the vlog in the vlog in the loft is what i mean but obviously i live in a studio apartment like the kitchen is right behind this curtain like there's just a lot of smells going on i am really drawn to the idea of a diffuser i didn't really have any friends that had any and i was definitely a big candle burner but like you just can't burn candles all day and i'm somebody that just loves the apartment smelling nice and um, so i've found personally that having a diffuser is just way more uh, i don't know it's just more cost effective and less wasteful feeling all you do is add water to it and then a couple of drops of whatever essential oil you like this is the one i like to use in the day for like if i'm working a lot at the apartment it's just oh it's like a little tiny subtle bit of the outdoors at home it's cedarwood 
sage and palo santo Ugh so so good i would highly recommend this one and you just turn it on and it puffs out beautiful scents all around your apartment and i especially do like the vitruvi ones because they are quite aesthetic in my opinion like they blend in really well with the rest of the decor in my apartment and that's obviously quite important to me it's essential oils you just take off this gorgeous little ceramic outer so if i can have something that's both pretty and functional I'm all about it. Truvy did send me a couple of new ones, I believe. Also, shout out to their packaging. No plastic at all, which is great. So I think this box down here is their sleep mask. Um, but these are some of the essential oils that I got in this package. Uh, these are three of my favorites already. Dusk is my current nighttime scent. Ceremony is the daytime one, like I mentioned. Retreat is for when I'm feeling like fresh and fruity a little bit more. Um, and then I guess these are the more nighttime collections. I'm really excited to try this one. This sounds very relaxing. Lavender, frankincense, chamomile. Sounds great to me. Oh, the Virgos are definitely going to like this. Pine, lemon and clove. And I've had mine going for a couple of hours today, but I think tonight I'm going to have a bit of a pamper sesh and whack on one of those nice new sleepy scents. Alrighty, that's enough chit chat for me. I'm going to pull out my exercise mat and because your girl is gonna get her workout done and uh maybe make a nice dinner and just have a chill evening in the loft i feel like i really need it today <laughs> Out of the shower I've just been prepping the apartment I've been making it nice and cozy turning on all the lights I've got my little silky PJs on so I'm feeling super cozy I also topped up my 
Vitruvi diffuser before I got in the shower so that I would come out and it would just all smell lovely and relaxing and sleepy big thing for me mood setting wise and just like my senses and um, kind of creating that atmosphere you can actually buy your choice of eye mask with the essential oils from their website as well i think that's a pretty cool idea or gift with somebody that might already have a diffuser alongside my other self-care things i've got my poetry books which i always have on hand i've got my little selection of some of my favorite crystals got citrine which is a new one i've got just a pink quartz some clear quartz um, I can't remember this one this one's great for a kind of energy protection I was never a big crystal person as spiritual as I am but I got into them in kind of slowly over the last year and I do feel like they're very powerful like I make sure I kind of cleanse the energy a lot I charge them under full moons I'm like all in I'm all in and I have to say even just when I'm anxious sitting in bed and like holding them or putting them on my stomach, uh, it really feels like it helps. It feels like I'm kind of transmuting some of that negative energy that I don't want in my body. And there's like a million different ways you can do that. Even just having a shower, you can set intentions to like flush some of that um, anxiety or negative energy that you feel like you're holding down the drain, which is what I was doing in the shower as well. Great to be working with Vitruvi again. Also as today's sponsor, um, I will have their link in the description if you wanna check out their ceramic diffusers and as well as all of the essential oils that they sell and anything I mentioned. They did also give me a code. It's Tarmars and I'll have any kind of discount information about that on the screen for you guys. But I really love this product and like I said, I've been using it every day for six plus months. You guys see me use it all the time and give it shout outs on Instagram all the time. So very happy to be working with them and recommend them and hopefully you guys will try it. Let me know how you get on. Oh. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. Bringing you guys a very Brooklyn feeling outfit. It must be weird for you guys, honestly. Like the hardcore OGs out there, you know who you are watching my style change. Like if you told me I'd be wearing this a year and a half ago, wouldn't have believed you. But loving this outfit so much. Um, tan has been coming along nicely as well, but I just have this little crop top which i think is actually a very flattering cut like it cuts right over the armpit roasting outside but it's pretty dull so i'm in a full pair of uh, denim jeans these are my new jeans that i got from i think i got them from urban outfitters quite a few weeks ago they're a little bit long obviously but i had always intended on having a bit more of a rolled up look anyway, especially because I did envision uh, styling them with these shoes, which are new. They're just uh, classic Air Force Ones. These are actually my first pair of Nike Air Force Ones, which I think are uh, a New York staple shoe. I didn't realize how light they are. They're so comfortable and lightweight. I kind of avoided them for a long time because they looked a bit like heavy and like they just look like they'd be kind of like two weights on your feet. But they're really not. They're such a great, versatile, um, chunky sneaker. And I feel like they go with so much. They go with, you know, like high socks and like cute little summer dresses. I went on a major sneaker shop this week because I just realized I had nothing um, to go with any of the clothes I have at the moment. I literally just had my super gals, which are bless them worn and dirty to death. And um, yeah, the Air Force ones were sort of like a new addition to suit the uh, slightly more fun pieces that are sneaking their way into my wardrobe. I really, really love this denim. It's just super baggy and boyfriendy, but fits me perfectly. I got the 27. I don't have any finer details to really show you like bags and all of that, but the scent I'm wearing today is this one from Chanel. It's like my weekend scent and it's Friday currently. So it's, uh, I think it's one of the, is this a boutique fragrance? I'm not, you can probably get it online, but it's not in all of the stores. I picked it up while I was in Paris in the duty free, I think. Oh, good memories with Ruth. If you haven't watched that Paris vlog with me and Ruth and you're just craving more videos from me, watch that one because it's gas. Like it's such a funny vlog and there's so much of Paris in it as well. Um, but yeah, this is the Paris Venice Chanel 
scent. It's an eau de toilette, um, so it's very light. Yeah, sweet, floral, teensy bit of maybe like vanilla or musk in there. I'm not quite sure, I never looked up the notes, but um, I did used to work for Chanel for six years on the counter. So all of my retail people, shout out to you guys. I feel like Mademoiselle fans, Chance fans, you like that one. It's almost like if you mix Mademoiselle and Eau Fresh together, that's kind of what it smells like. Do you have something slightly newer on my lips? I picked up this in Williamsburg the other day because Sephora is open again. You can't swatch anything, but uh, I took a chance on this because I mean, it's really easy to return beauty stuff in America anyway, which I love. But these are my favorite lip liners, the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip. And the Charlotte Tilbury ones, I have to say, do not have any staying power on my lips at all. They fade really badly on my skin texture but these are great especially for summer because they're waterproof and uh you guys know i'm a huge fan of the shade 3c with a little bit of glossier um generation g lipstick and like over it but they don't match up entirely so i wanted a lip liner that would match better with that um glossier lipstick and this is definitely like almost a perfect match for it it's just a little bit darker but the same tone i don't know what i'm up to actually i'm just gonna run a few errands today but i might catch you guys later for like a cooking segment or something I'm definitely gonna go out and get some groceries and um see what we cook up just showered the skincare is on uh i did a workout didn't bother kind of filming that again because there's only so many workout montage as you can see they all sort of look the same this is the story with my vlogs in general but you guys seem to like it and we do try and switch it up just a little bit every week um but yeah i'm making dinner now i'm starving because i ended up having a pretty late workout it's been a pretty packed day even though it may not look like it because i didn't really vlog but yeah i'm making kind of like a quick lazy-ish dinner so many of you tried the crispy salty chili tofu that i left in the end of last week's vlog uh, so thank you for everyone that let me know even for those people that tried it and didn't let me know in the comments it's okay i know in my heart you liked it <laughs> yeah nothing crazy complicated to report here i'm in the mood for a chicken salad i eat these in one of the other vlogs and i really like it it's just from my local store it's Collie Power, new chick on the block chicken tenders. It's basically kind of like a healthier fried chicken. It's baked, but it does actually look like the packet. It's coated in uh, rice flour, cauliflower, and brown rice flour. Got a lovely bunch of organic kale. I've never done the whole like in the stem, like peel it off and like massage it and all of that kind of, you know, kale type deal before. So apparently you need to caress kale first <laughs> and make it sort of, um, a bit more wilted and a bit more chewable because it's kind of tough as it is um with some lemon so olive oil salt and lemon i'm going to keep it really simple i don't think i'll need a salad dressing i have some garlic mayo lying in the fridge that i might use up with the chicken um and some tomato just super simple I would love to get better at plating food because I think the food that I make is actually really nice I just don't know how to plate it properly to like make it look pretty is there like a course that you can do mm. Mm -mm -mm. I would be giving a sweet green a run for their money right now I think that my friends is a dinner success I'm absolutely exhausted um, I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hello, you know the drill by now. Um, I don't actually have a vlogging segment for this outfit because I feel like I've already filmed quite a bit this week and I feel like 20, 25 minutes is kind of the sweet spot. I know there's quite a few 
of you out there that are of the notion that a vlog can never be too long. However, I really did like this outfit today and I thought I'd just, I thought I'd just slip it in there amongst all of the other days. What do we got? What do we got? What are we gonna show the people? I got this doughty little uh, black crop top. I'm just a fan of a little button up crop top at the moment. I feel like they're just very appropriate for the casual, everyday wear that I find myself in running around Brooklyn and uh, they're still kind of light for summer. Now this is a lot more stomach than I would probably usually show. I'm not a mid-rise gal. However, I got my first pair of Dickies. I feel like the previous outfit and this one are gonna be probably the most Brooklyn of all of the outfits, I would say. Is my camera crooked? I think it's crooked. <laughs> I think we're G, I'm just gonna have to fix it in editing if it's crooked, but yeah, I'll have my eye on the Dickies. This is me trying to sell them to you right now. Is it working? It's Ruth. I mean, Ruth is a huge like influence on my style anyway. I feel like my friends, the neighborhoods I hang around in, like it's just, it all influences my style. I'm finding so much. Ruth was rocking Dickies a lot last summer and um, I kind of just felt like I was there. I was there in terms of like, my style of progression, I kind of felt like I wanted to try them. So I did, and I kind of have no regrets. Like I said, I'm not a mid-rise gal, and they're not super tight on. The one thing I will say is the sizing is super generous on them. I went down a full size compared to all the other jeans that are usually fine size-wise. Um, but if you want them fitted, go two sizes down, like super fitted. But they're they're a little roomy, and like I feel like mid-rise and a little roomy is, you know, it could probably do with a belt, let's just say. I don't know if you can kind of tell, but you know, they're not super thick and really heavy. They're really, really comfortable. Also relatively well priced in my opinion. And yes, I'm styling them with the same Air Force ones. I really wanted to wear them with um, a different pair of trainers that I got, but I had to send those back because they were a little too big and reorder them. So I'm just gonna have to wait, but you get the gist. Just a little extra bonus outfit for the day. Hair is clipped up, which I am a big fan of. Hey, how are y'all doing? Last outfit of the week. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because I've actually gone and got my hair cut that I may or may not have mentioned at the start of the vlog. It's not that I didn't vlog the experience, I did. Uh, I brought you along to the salon with me with my amazing hairdresser at Bumble and Bumble in uh, Uptown in Manhattan but it was like pissing rain that day and I didn't end up bringing my camera in because it was just so, it couldn't have been more rainy and it was all day long and I didn't want to break my camera, but I did get some beautiful iPhone uh, B-roll shots, which I think you're going to enjoy anyway. Obviously they're not as high quality, but you guys seem to not really mind. I don't think equipment or quality really matters if you capture the moment, you know, and it was a really beautiful, time in New York. Even though it's not how I envisioned my first day back in Manhattan after three and a half months, you know, I was really hoping to see it on a beautiful sunny day. It was beautiful nonetheless. Like seeing New York in stormy, rainy weather is like something out of a movie. So here is my haircut. Got a couple of inches off the ends, just basically cut off the dead bits. It was super dry at the bottom. Um, so it's kind of like here now. I did want to keep a bit more of the length, but alas, um, I don't really find myself with hairdressers that often, so it's always good to get a good bit chopped off. But it's at that stage now where it's just kind of super shaggy with all of the layers I have in it, which I don't mind, but it's always just a bit tricky to style it. And it doesn't really settle, I find, for like two weeks, you know, that in-between period. A lot of people ask me what I ask for when I see Lily. And honestly, she just takes like a load of weight out. My hair is so heavy and so thick. So I'd say she takes like a third to a half of the weight out and just really, she's really, really talented in terms of giving me something that will suit my lifestyle and suit um, my face shape and the amount of effort that I want to put into my hair, which is none. <laughs> Layers, but it's still very manageable. And then there's just lots of face framing bits and I got her to feather out some really nice um, front pieces for me so that when I tie up my hair, my favorite types of outfits, something that's comfortable, practical, um, probably a little bit on the smarter casual side seeing as it's kind of all black but for me it's just like a really comfortable outfit um, I'm wearing my Chanel dad sandals again for a bit of chunkiness and 
uh, the and other story skirt that I think you may have seen in my last video. I'm kind of in two minds now about whether to get it taken up an inch or not. I feel like at the length that it is now, it's just really appropriate for like running around in the daytime in terms of comfortableness and like not worrying if it's gonna blow up or anything like that or have any inappropriate moments but I do love the wrap style I think as well just with the wrap skirts in general I feel like they just suit my body type I always like to bring more attention to my waist and um, also if your weight fluctuates a bit I can just kind of adjust it so I really like the skirt for that it's um sustainable fabric from and other stories I believe and then the tank is just an old one from Zara but it's just really nice oh yeah same bag again as we started off the week with my Paloma wool yin yang bag and that's pretty much it just kind of a it's almost a very Manhattan city casual summer outfit i feel like when i lived in manhattan i wore a lot more black and this is kind of i think a very typical soho or upper east side type summer outfit anyways those are the deets this is my new my new do for summer feels so good feels so light and fresh i honestly feel like a new woman like there's nothing like i feel like everyone's getting their haircuts i will formally end the video here i hope you've had a fantastic week i know i took last week off it was actually because we couldn't get this video approved in time i, I did kind of have it ready to go but um i know you guys will enjoy it nonetheless and yeah i'm sending big love on this sunday to you all i hope you have a fantastic upcoming week i hope your energy and your mood is cleared for whatever this week's about to throw at you and enjoy these clips of uh, beautiful rainy manhattan i hope it feels as nostalgic for you as it does for me see you all next week Mwah.